You're breaking me, la 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 la. You're breaking. Ah yeah. Welcome back to the channel. So in front of us we have a Vauxhall Morvano, which is the same as a Renault Masturbate, and uh, it's a rear-wheel drive version, and we're doing front dicks and pads on it. And if you are ultra observant, you might notice that I've already jacked it up and put it on an axle stand and uh, released the cap. So let's get on with the shitter. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the incorrect tool to send the pistons back. Now, there is probably going to be someone who says, yeah, you should just crack the bleed nipple off your arm, but I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to wedge a screwdriver in here and I'm going to lever it until, well, until the pistons go back inside. Yes. And it is best to do that nice and slowly, not to shock the fluid back up to the master cylinder too fast. Um, so at this point now we can judge how free the sliders are which are nice and free, fortunately, because I ain't got any uh, silicon grease on me this time, so good job. Anyway, let's get it off. And to do so, we need to remove these johnnies off here. There's one there, and there's one there. And we need to get an eight milli. A snap on Allen key, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a good snap on one. And then, uh, well, that's eight milli Allen key in there. So we need to undo that. And then the same for the bottom one. And then just, well, just wind them all the way out. And uh, then you can take the caliper off. Now, like I said, I would recommend to take them all the way out and put some, well, clean them up and put some silicon grease on them, but I've not got any here with me today. So, I'm, well, they, they seem all right anyway. Uh, so next, the pads. If you're just changing pads, then you won't really have to take much else apart. But as the title of the video might suggest, we are doing discs as well, so we need to take, well, there's, there's that one and that one that need to come off. And they're 21mm and they are pretty tight. Now I've, I've cracked these off already, so I'm just going to take them off. That's one and that's another one. And now we can remove the caliper carrier. And with any luck whatsoever, the disc... Now, luckily, these are finger tight to start with, so I didn't have to struggle with them. So now, as you can see, we've removed the disc in a very careful manner. And um, I've actually taken the time off camera just to clean this up and put a bit of copper dick on there. And uh, I've also done the same with this. So I've had them shims out, scraped behind them with a screwdriver, cleaned up with a wire brush. Anyway, let's put the uh, put the new disc on. It's not really a one-handed job, but I haven't brought my tripod with me today. And then when it's seated, we can put this screw in and just nip it up. Now it is a, I think it's a T40 or something, but I ain't got a T40 on me, so I've just using the wrong size Allen key for it. It's not that important. Even if it's not in, it's not. It, it doesn't really matter. It's just to hold the disc in place while you're putting the wheel on. Really, the wheel clamps it all in place. Uh, let's put our caliper on. And once again, due to not bringing my tripod, it was easier to lift that in place without holding my phone. So you, you can sort of use your imagination on how to do that, I think. So then these two need tightening up to, well, a torque setting. This. And then now you're ready to fit the pads. Now I've already put the back one in. And a little bit of copper slip just on the ears. And then just, just slot in. And now we can put this back on. Now on the other side, there is worse sensors. So just, just watch out for that. Uh, this should slide over there nice and happily. Try again. So as you can see now, that is in place and this is tightening in. There's two things to be careful of at this point. One, you need to make sure you don't twist that. And two, when you tighten these in, you need to make sure that these rubbers don't get caught behind the edge of it. And then these want to be tightened up to a specific torque setting. And I can put these covers back on. Yes. And now we're pretty much done. Not forgetting to pump the pedal and put this back on and reapply and obviously torque up the wheel to manufacturer approved specifications. Um, so that's that's it for this one. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. And uh, I apologise for the cinematography not being up to what we're used to on this channel. 
uh, because like I said, I didn't bring me uh, my tripod. Anyway, see you, bye.